Fall. Introducing first, from Columbus, Ohio, Alexa Bliss. Five feet of fury. I just don't understand why Alexa treats everyone like they're second-class citizens. Because she's better than them, Byron. When you're better than someone, it's perfectly acceptable to treat them poorly. Is that the morals you live by? Obviously, he works with you. Alexa has it all. Yeah, a bad attitude. Michael, Corey, you guys ready to feel the glow? And her partner Anyone? from Orlando, Florida, All right, Naomi. Byron, just because Naomi dances, that is not an open invitation for you to do the same. Why? Because Naomi's actually good at it. I can do the electric slide. Naomi's one of the most respected superstars in all of the women's division. The two-time SmackDown Women's Champion and one of the best all-around athletes in the entire WWE Universe. But she continues to back everything she's done in the past up with substance here in WWE. Never shies away from competition, always seizing the opportunity to get better. That's what feeling the glow is all about. the truth yet? That Carmella is the most obnoxious woman in the entire women's division? You are delusional. Mella is money. Well, it's great where you can wear blinders. Why would I want blinders on when Mella's around? So what would you know anything about how to win a title like Mella? So I see you're kissing up to Carmella as well. Why wouldn't I? I think she's an unbelievable talent. Mella is money. Guys, this might not be a title match, but remember, she could very well be in the ring with an upcoming challenger. Keep that in mind as we move forward here. And that's what makes this match so important. In baseball, they call it advanced scouting. Preparing yourself with as much information as possible on future opponents. And there's no better way to do that than to step in the ring with them. And here we go, folks, as we get this tag team match started. And guys, there's nothing like a good old-fashioned tag team match. Oh, what impact. Harsh impact.
Carmella is more dangerous than ever. The Princess of Staten Island is filled with a hostility we've never seen before, so if a superstar is going to go up against her, they have to strike early. Corey, before you mention that Carmella is more aggressive than ever, if an opponent wants to have any sort of chance against the Princess, they'll need to land significant offense right from the opening bell. I'm all for sportsmanship, but in WWE, you have to know when to fight fire with fire. To all the women in WWE, to even be able to think about victory against Carmella, you have to strike first, strike hard, and strike often. She might have it. Naomi in trouble now. Nothing she can't fire back from, though. And she breaks free. I don't know how she did it, but that was impressive. Running clothesline. Alexa Bliss looking Ouch. stymied. This is not how she drew this one up. Oh, man. Submission time. During the rivalry between the Hardy Boys and Cesaro and Sheamus over the Raw Tag Team Championship, the team... No! She breaks it. Wow, she's quite the escape artist, Michael. Oh, Alexa Bliss may have it. Beginning to look bad for her here. Her and her partner make it a great tag team. We'll see what they're made of here. Oh, and she makes the tag. And not a moment too soon, Michael. Drop kick! Oh, oh, great height. What does Alexa Bliss need to do now? The two out of three falls matches saw the Hardy Boys go at it with Cesaro and Sheamus. It was a throwback of sorts. Throughout the 1960s and 70s, championship title defenses and grudge matches were often decided in the two out of three falls format. Cesaro and Sheamus didn't waste any time and scored the decisive first fall after a broad kick rocked Jeff Hardy. Cesaro and Sheamus wanted to continue their domination of Team Extreme, but the Hardys had other ideas as Matt tied things up at one fall apiece after a twist of fate on the Swiss cyborg. After a swanton bomb by Jeff Hardy, the match broke down and the third fall was ruled a double countout. If you remember, guys, Carmella's introduction to the main roster came in 2016 when she was the final pick in the WWE brand extension draft. Oh, nasty impact. Alexa Bliss hit off the tag. Byron noted how Carmella was the final pick in the 2016 draft. I think in a lot of ways, seeing more than 50 superstars get selected before her gave Carmella a bit of a chip on her shoulder. Yeah, it definitely motivated her, Cole. And fast forward less than two years later, and Carmella became SmackDown Women's Champion. Talk about a meteoric rise. Carmella is being shown the ropes here tonight, folks. What could she do to get out of there? You can see her partner wants to get tagged in here. She really needs to make a tag here, guys. There's no way she can continue like this and expect to win the match. There's just no way. These women are so evenly matched right now, guys. I can very easily see this match going either way. Back in from the floor. Back in the ring now. Alexa Bliss gets out of the way quickly. Irish whip. And that's the tag to Naomi. What a poop! A lot of damage taken on by Carmella. I'm not sure how this will pan out. It doesn't seem to be your night tonight, fellas. Yeah, things look bleak right now. Normally I'm a glass half full kind of guy, but there's just no good to take from this for her. Naomi's entrance is one of the most captivating you'll see in WWE. It's got great music, Naomi's incredible dancing, and of course the bright neon colors that inspires the entire WWE Universe to feel the glow. Eh, I wouldn't say the entire WWE Universe. Locked in! It's locked in! That might just be the final nail in the coffin. I have to come back to the two of you discussing Naomi, her entrance, and her method. Not so fast. She breaks it. Yeah, but it's got to just be a mess. Oh, okay. Man. She can pick up the win here. Guys. Now that got those shoulders on the mat. Two. This might be it. Oh, my. Ah, oh, come on. 
by any means necessary, Cole. And Naomi pops the shoulder up. Not yet. Too early. She's a lady that can turn it on quickly, no doubt about it. You gotta believe this one's over. Naomi is some athlete. I bet you feel foolish riding her off now. Penny in predicament. Where is she finding the strength to continue? Wow. And the damage sustained by Naomi. She could be on her way out. I don't think this is how she envisioned this tag team match going. What a hurt, Karana. I don't think there are two teams I'd rather see square off against each other right now. This is amazing. Carmella just barely got out of the way. Oh. Naomi just too fast for her. Drops her with authority. Wow, that was intense. Looks like she wants to beat her inside the ring. So close, just a look out. There's the tag. And that changes the entire outlook for these women, Michael. And Naomi manages to reverse out of that one. Oh, what a snap there. Oh, perfectly executed. the arm. Great way to break down your opponent. Incredible drop. Comes up big with the reversal. Look at her go. Nope. Reverses it. She comes up big with the reversal. She's starting to feel the pressure. Momentum clearly not on her side right now, fellas. She's taking on quite a bit of damage here, guys. And if she doesn't find a way to make the tag soon, this one might be over. Yeah, but she still appears to be winning this match. At least from my standpoint. She is on fire! Eight. Guys, this is tag team competition at its absolute best. Whenever tag team is on the docket, the mayhem multiplies. Here's the proof. This was another great moment. Remember this? I can't believe this. And if you don't enjoy watching her perform, there's something seriously wrong with you. Here are your winners, Alexa Bliss and me. Naomi else lead the team to victory. Look out, girl. These two women don't look like they plan on ever losing. I think Boston is stunned by the outcome here, guys.